Yes, California, the future is so bright, I gotta wear shades. So this from the New York Slimes, uh, May 21st, 2009. California out of money, reels as voters rebuff leaders. How dare those pesky voters actually get what they want. We'll get them. This is by Jennifer Steinhauer. Direct democracy has once again upended California. More of the sky is falling news when it comes to the stuff. This is so sensationalist. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, enough so that the state may finally consider another way by overhauling its constitution. See, they don't like it when the voters get their way. California has never liked that. I am so glad to be out of there because every time we vote something in, they find a way to, to shaft us and turn it around, take it to the courts, get it thrown out, whatever the uh, issue is. So Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger returned home from the White House to find a state dangerously broke. Well, guess what? If the governor is too stupid to realize that the state was dangerously broke before he left, then he's not going to realize it when he got back. The state is in bad shape, just like the rest of the nation, because we live like we have this magical credit card that never has to be paid off. California, 75% of your property taxes goes to pay for public schools. And you saw all the teachers' unions and everybody, boo -hoo -hoo, we need money, it's for the children. We don't want to lose them. We don't to have to close schools and lose our jobs. Maybe if the state wasn't squandering it on administrative costs and on who knows what else, they could have used that money. But now, no, uh, now you don't get it. I'm, and I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not bagging on the teachers, but the the whole whole system's broken. Do 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 do. Mr. Schwarzenegger, a Republican, has expressed support for the convention to address such things as the state's arcane budget requirements. You mean like they actually have to balance the budget and the two thirds? actually having a majority to raise taxes. Um, I don't think people are going to really go for that, but according to this, uh, there could be more, there could not be a more of a tipping point, said Jim Wunderman, chief executive of the Bay Area Council. Now, I haven't done any research about this group, but this guy and this group are just a bunch of scumbag elitists that think, how dare these people get, um, get to change the rules? I mean, how are these budget ballot things? We, we can't have the people actually doing, doing what they want and getting what they want. No, well, let's, let's change the Constitution. <laughs> we think the interest is going to grow by orders of magnitude, he said. Mm, yeah, orders of magnitude that you make up since uh, obviously the orders of magnitude that people said that we don't want to change things and we don't want to have our runaway spending uh, didn't seem to, to, to click in your little skull. Uh, more importantly, Mr. Schwarzenegger met with the legislative leaders to begin the painful process of slashing state spending. If you would have done that earlier, before this stupid ballot initiative, you wouldn't be in the mess you're in. Yeah, like earlier, like when you took office and said you were going to change things. I didn't vote for you. I voted for McClintock. But hey, now I'm out of there. I guess I don't have to worry about that. Uh, the only ballot measure to succeed was one that prevented lawmakers, this is classic, and constitutional officers from getting raises in times of fiscal distress. What's stupid is that they actually, the voters of California actually had to pass a ballot initiative that basically said you can't give yourself a raise when times are tough. They actually had to pass this knowing because they know the kind of jokers that are in office up there. Stop voting for these people. That would help a lot. The constitutional effort was immediately embraced by the San Francisco mayor, uh, queer-loving adulterer Gavin Newsom. I added that part. Um, a Democrat candidate for 2010 um, governor's race. Mm. Yeah, he embraced it, sure. So that tells you right there who this, uh, what's this group called? The Bay Area Council? That's, that's what you need. More Bay Area people running, running the show. The majority of Californians say the state is headed in the wrong direction. This is from a guy named Mark Baldessari, Public Policy Institute of California. People of California don't feel they have the government we need in the 21st century. Um, actually, what the government they need is the government we had in the 19th century. Um, what we have now is a monarchy in California uh, of elitists. I guess that would be an oligarchy. Um, there's lots of other things it could be, but it's, it's not a, a government of the people, for the people, and by the people, facing a $21.3 billion, 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 
That's a thousand million, twenty-one thousand million dollars. Now, I, I'd have to spend. I couldn't imagine spending that much money in my lifetime. I could give it away. I could give the interest away every month, and I'd still have a ton of money left over. I mean, just twenty-one billion dollar budget deficit. Mr. Schwarzenegger is requesting a six billion dollar loan from the federal government, like that'll ever get paid back. And has proposed a variety of politically unpalatable cuts. These are classic, classic, <laughs> including commuting prisoner sentences. <laughs> I'll get to that one in a second. Taking away health insurance from some poor children. <laughs> Reducing aid to community colleges and eliminating a large chunk of financial or financing for shelters that serve children and women who have been abused. Um, uh, okay, let's just, let's just focus on the, on the prisoner uh, release aspect. So... Let's, let's get this straight. Massive unemployment, just foreclosures through the roof, an economy in the tank, and you want to release people who can't get normal jobs because nobody wants to hire them because they're ex-cons. And, and you want to send them onto the streets of California. What happens when they can't get jobs because of the high unemployment where people with masters, MBAs, and PhDs can't get jobs? What happens when those people get out on the streets? Do you think you're just going to go, Aw, oh, shucks. I guess I'll just leave California. No, they're going to go back to the life of crime that they know to feed themselves. And it's just, so there's a brilliant idea, Governor. Its budget woes are greatly exacerbated by its odd and in many ways outmoded ways of doing business. No, uh, its budget woes are uh, exacerbated by the drunken excess of legislators and the governor of spend, 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 Republicans and Democrats. When are you people in California going to wake up? Either leave or throw those bums out of office. Every single one of them. I don't care. Demo Democrat, vote Republican. Republican, vote Democrat. Throw those bums out of office. All of them. California passed a budget in February contingent on ballot measures winning approval. Pfft, yeah. The state was $5.8 billion newly in the hole because revenues had continued to plummet over the spring. Why? Because businesses, it stinks right now in California. I used to have a small business there. I keep in touch with my small business friends. Some of them are doing well, um, but a good majority of them are not. So the article goes on and on and on and on and on. But what it comes down to is this. California's in a big mess. California is, you're, what you're seeing in California, that's the nation. That's, that's the nation as a whole. But instead of actually cutting spending, being responsible, living in within your means, which means uh, not spending more than you take in, no, they just want to get a loan. And they just want to keep spending it and spending it and spending it like drunken people. And that is the state of the nation. President Obama just wants to spend like a drunken sailor. George Bush wanted to spend like a drunken sailor. Bill Clinton wanted to spend like a drunken sailor. Well, he had many cuts. There were lots of cuts. No, there weren't. That's reality. So you got choices in California. But um, if these people get their way, you won't. If these people get your way, the, the Bay Area Council people and the Gavin Newsoms of the world and the Arnold Schwarzeneggers of the world and the moron legislators of the world, if they get their way, you'll continue to pay high taxes. You continue to be ripped off. And you continue to have bad legislators passing bad laws. But you don't seem to get that. And so the good people, a lot of them, are leaving. And then you have the uh, riding revolting type, revolter types that are, um, <laughs> that's funny, uh, that are passing ballot initiatives. So um, that's the end of my uh, California report. Now for a little advertising. I've got a special right now for website design. If you're a small business or you know somebody that has a need for a website, um, I'd love to talk to them. Send them uh, my information. They can go to uh, centralvirginiastudios.com or, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the best way to, to, to do it. And um, I got a website special right now, $350, um, and it has 20-page HTML, really cool uh, website. I can give you more information about it if you're interested. Uh, web hosting. If you know somebody, if you got a website and you're paying more than eight twenty-five a month, um, you need to s switch to me. As I can, I can host your website for a whole lot less and uh, give you the same, same if not better service than um, you're getting now. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, have a great Memorial Day weekend, and uh, talk to you soon.